everybody, this is Steve, and welcome to Enter the Gungeon. That's cool, if you sit too long, the, it just kind of fades to the background. But anyways, this is a fun little game I've been playing a little bit on my own. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just start off as the Marine. And I didn't remember to use his starting... Oops. <laughs> Anyways, his starting item. Uh, he has like a walkie-talkie you can call in. Uh, I think it's an ammo. Ammo drop. But anyways, this is a fun bullet-themed dungeon crawler. Everything is about guns. Anything that you can possibly think of that might be a gun is a gun. It's freaking awesome. So let's get in here. Um... The mini-map is behind my face, unfortunately. I figured that was the only corner that this will work. Uh, so I'll try to make sure to pull it up. Uh, I need to look around and stuff anyways. Um, but yeah, so that way you guys know what's going on. Alright. I'm... I... Ah! Uh, walk right into that. I just lost my armor. You start off, this, the marine starts off with some armor. And I screwed that up already. I told myself, don't screw this up. I screwed it up in my test run, and then I go and screw it up. I had to make sure everything was going to record all right and all that. So I played a quick round and... Didn't make it that far, which is normal for me for this game, unfortunately. Alright, so we got a blocked path. We can only access that from the other side. So we'll need to work our way around. So, need to kill that. Whoa, hey, how's it going? Nice, nice seeing you here. Okay, we don't want to get caught next to that barrel. Or that barrel. Four enemies! <coughs> Excuse me. Still fighting a little cough from when I got sick a few weeks ago. Or a week or so ago. Just can't seem to get rid of it. Oh, that was all of the enemies. Well, I was going to try to lure them towards the barrels, but my cough got me distracted. Alright, where are you? Oh, come on. Well, I'm not doing as bad as I did on my warm-up run. But I'm still doing pretty dang bad. Oh, I don't want to get myself locked in a dead end. Uh, barrel roll for, for roll, roll for victory. Roll for victory. Alright, there we go. Still, still getting hit far too much in my opinion. Okay, we want to go down this way. Might lead us towards the other end of that block door, which is most likely a shop. Which is a very good thing. I hate these books. They do crazy shots. Okay, that was it there. Awesome. So this next area is a good chance that it's a shop. We don't really have enough shells. Oh, it's a, it's a chest. Never mind. But anyways, as I was saying, we don't have enough shells yet, which is the currency. What kind of gun are you? Little bomber. Okay, so I can come in here. The Ammonomicon. <clears throat> Refuse to lose. It's a charged shot. And I fire bombs. Hey, that's pretty cool. A forgetful adventurer left a pouch full of bombs deep in the gungeon, and they eventually sprouted into this amusing weapon. A favorite of the gunsling king, who often sends manservants to pick up the bombs. Ugh, harsh. Yeah, but what's my active item? Calls in an ammo drop. <clears throat> Excuse me, which I think is spacebar for that. Right now I don't need an ammo drop, because this base gun, the semi-automatic, or sorry, the marine sidearm, is that its name? Yeah, the marine sidearm has unlimited ammo. <coughs> Excuse me. Infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. Oh, I forgot. Some guns you can shoot the wall and it reveals a secret wall. Something like that. 
still learning all the little uh, fine details of this game. The Marine sidearm was brought to the gungeon by a low-ranking Primerdine soldier. Though this gun appears sturdy, it has been known to fail when it is most needed. That's unfortunate. And I have a passive item. Memories of your years in training. Better reload speeds and weapon accuracy. Awesome. So let's get back in here. I only 60 shots on this. Not the best gun. Okay. So we've cleared that loop. Jumped over here. These are teleport spots. And that just means uh, it'll take me right back to wherever I just teleported. Oh, alright. Oh, I have to hold and charge. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if I like it. Hey, how's it going? I'd rather... Oh, no! I got caught on the wall. I have a very bad habit of doing that. Okay. Yeah, I'll save that uh, one. Let's see. Oh, man, the room had, like, a trap I could have dropped. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was fine. Not too long ago. Uh, whatever. I guess talking is bad for my throat or something. Those barrels never have anything in them, but I love to... Uh... Oh, I walked into that! What is wrong with me? Oh, this is a dead end. I definitely don't want to go that way. Ah! Me, the I don't want to deal with these slimes. I should be able to get some help recovered before we get to the first boss. Ooh, hey, another gun. The Winchester Rifle and Devilry or something? <coughs> Ugh, sorry. Uh, guns and Deviltry. Cool. The Winchester Rifle was used by, uh, was used to famous effect by Freifel during his first adventures with the Grey Mauser. It might be a bit dated, but still packs quite the punch. Uh, I've watched some other people play this game in this one. Uh, that the Winchester is supposedly a really powerful good gun, so we may have just gotten pretty dang lucky here. Okay, we found the boss. I want to try to recover. Oops, didn't mean to activate the door, but we're fine as long as we didn't go through the door. Um, try. I want to find the shop and try to recover some health and stuff before we take on the boss. <coughs> All right. Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. I said don't get hit. What do you do? You go and get hit. Like I said, it ain't good gun. I'm one-shotting everything. I was not watching that uh, bullets as they flew towards me. Okay, got caught on that same. Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty good range on it, too. I got hit once because of my own stupidity. Which is normal. Come on, shop. Okay, one book taken care of. Two books taken care of. Oh, hey, we found the shop. And you don't have help for me. Of course you don't. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's probably getting annoying for you guys, just as it is for me. Okay, what's this? Um, oh yeah, it's, uh... These are called blanks, and I have two of them, as you can see. Um, and if I hit Q, it takes out all shots. All bullets disappear in the room. I'm just bad at using it. Um, buy the armor, since there's no health. And I don't need the key. Well, I can't afford the key. This guy right here, he'll buy weapons if I drop them. I don't remember how to drop them, but I'm... It's not worth it. Okay. Uh, I could keep going, but... Nah, let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. See what we can find. Hopefully I won't be stupid. Uh, because we have a chance of picking up more help. Alright, uh... Let's 
these guys, I really don't want to back myself into a corner. Okay. Well, that took care of that room. Oh, there's another chandelier drop. I gotta pay more attention to that. Ugh. Get clear of the boxes. Ah. Dang barrels. I can waste my freaking ammo. Okay, what's up here? Something that'll give me help. Dang it. <coughs> Alright. Nothing's dropping health. So we're gonna go into this boss at really big disadvantage if this keeps up. Ah, now I wish I could have bought that key. Alright, we're just gonna... Oh, hey, not bad. We got health. That was, uh, very unexpected, in all honesty. Okay, we'll just warp over here to the boss and see how we do. I'll be honest, I'm not good at boss fights, because I keep forgetting to use my blanks and my abilities. <coughs> I don't need to use my ammo call. We'll just do this. Who are we fighting? I think it's the twins? Bullet twins or something like that is what they're called. Trigger twins. That's what it is. Okay, so we'll focus on the one with the glasses. Oh my goodness. Like I said. Oh, really? Again? Oh, and I forgot they can call in help. Oh my goodness. I hit I hit the button for the blanks. Wow. Well, I told you guys that I suck, but that was kind of a little ridiculous in my opinion. Didn't even get past the first boss. Um I've only been going about 10 minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to keep going right now. Um if I had a, just stayed alive, I could have kept going, but <coughs> that's just how things work out but anyways i'm gonna brush up on my skills on this one this is one i plan on doing a lot i have the the different characters to pick from so i can show off the different play styles there's tons of different guns i've only you know drop in the bucket for the amount of guns that there is in this that i have shown you guys uh i had a really good setup i just or on guns not on ammo and then i just kept getting hit uh, all right whatever um but yeah, no, I'm looking uh, forward to doing more of this one a lot. Um, it is a fun game, despite me being terrible at it. It does also have... Um, uh, <coughs> um, some co-op capabilities. And I don't know anybody yet who has this game. Off the top of my head, but, you know... I have a lot of friends that I know play video games that I'm not friends with on Steam. So, I'll probably put some fillers out and sh uh, try to show off the co-op features of this as well. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are excited about this, or at least enjoyed watching me fail. Uh, <laughs> struggle and fail, anyways. Um, if you did like this video, please go ahead and click there on that like button. Don't forget to also click on the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my most recent videos. If you have any feedback for me, please leave those comments below. I do want to hear from you. In the meantime, I will see you later.